Hi guys, this is section 3.2, which is solving multi-step equations. So there are going to be more than two, just than just two steps. Um, I'm going to do a bunch of different problems, and hopefully you can pick it up. The first one is combining like terms. So I still want you to draw the line down through the ecosine to balance the equation. And you can notice that I have two terms here that have x in it. So I need to combine my like terms. When I do 2x plus 1x, or 2x plus x, that equals to 3x plus 12 is equal to 78. And now that looks like a two-step equation. So I need to get rid of the 12 first. So I'm going to minus 12 from both sides. That's gone, and I'm left with 3x is equal to 66. And because it's 3 times x, I need to divide by 3. So I'm going to put it over 3, divide by 3, and I get x is equal to 22. Okay, pretty simple. So same thing here. I got another example. Just draw the line on the equal When I combine these two like terms, 2x minus 5x, I get negative 3x plus 8 is equal to negative 10. I need to get rid of the, that plus 8. So I'm going to minus 8 from both sides. And then I'm left with negative 3x is equal to negative 18. And because I have negative 3 times x, I'm going to divide by negative 3. This just becomes 1x is equal to, and negative 18 divided by negative 3 becomes a positive 6. Okay, another way they might have it do it is distributive property. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. Um, this is the normal way that most people do it. And so when you distribute, you get 3x minus 12 is equal to 24. And you can see that's a two-step problem. So now I'm going to plus 12 to both sides, or add 12 to both sides. And I'm left with 3x is equal to 36. Divide by 3, and x is equal to 12. Okay, that's a normal way people will show you. Um, those of you who want to, if you can see it, a um, little more advanced way to do it. If it's 3 times a quantity x minus 4, it's like saying 3 times this. I can actually divide both sides by 3, and that would get rid of that 3 there. So if I divide by 3, I can take get rid of that, and I'm left with x minus 4 is equal to 8, and I can plus 4 to both sides, and I'm left with x is equal to 12. So I'm still, I still end up with the same answer, just two different ways of seeing it. This is the normal way people do it, distribute it in. But if you can see that this is 3 times the whole quantity, if I divide by 3, that gets rid of that 3 on the top. Okay, here's one more distributive property problem for you guys. Um, I'm going to have a, I have a negative here, so I'm going to circle and rainbow. And I get negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 4 is plus 8 is equal to 12. So I just distributed the left side. I need to get rid of this positive 8, so I'm going to minus from both sides. And I get negative 2x is equal to 4, because 12 minus 8 is 4. And I divide by a negative 2. That cancels out, and I get x is equal to negative 2. Okay, here's a, um, two ways to solve if there's fractions. Okay, the first way is I can, I can put these to common denominators and add fractions. Another way is I can clear the denominator. You can choose whichever way is um, easier for you. So the first thing I need to do is add my fractions. I need to get common denominators. So I want it to get to 6. So I'm going to multiply this one by 2 over 2, and I'm going to multiply this one by 3 over 3 to get my denominator of 6. When I do this, I get 4x over 6 plus 3 times x is 3x over 6 is equal to 7. Now when I add fractions, I add my denominator, I'm sorry, my numerators, and leave the denominator. So I get 7x, sorry, I'm going to put that down, over 6 is equal to 7. And now just like in 3.1, when I get a fraction, I can multiply by the reciprocal. And this, this becomes 42 over 42, or they can cross cancel. And I get x is equal to, and if I put this over 1, these cancel out, and I'm going to put 6 over 1, or just 6. Or 42 over 7, which is 6. 
The other way I can do it is by clearing the denominator. So I have the same problem, but what I want to do is find a multiple of 3 and 2, which is 6. So if I multiply both sides, if I multiply this by 6, and I multiply this one by 6 as well, I can do it that way. So when I distribute this in, I get, if I put it over 1, 12x over 3 plus 6x over 2 is equal to 42. When I change this 12 over 3, 12 divided by 3 just becomes 4x plus 6 divided by 2 just becomes 3x is equal to 42. When I combine my like terms here, I get 7x is equal to 42. Divide by 7 and x is equal to 6. So either way x was equal to 6, just two different ways of solving it. So in this way I made common denominators and then my adding my fractions and multiplied by the reciprocal. Whereas this one I found the multiple of 3 and 2 which happened to be 6. Multiply everything by 6 to get rid of the denominators. But notice I multiplied this side as well. Okay. So if that way is easier for you, you can do it that way, uh, whichever one is easier, okay. whichever one you prefer. So here's the homework check I want you to do. I do want you to do this on the back of your agenda or on your homework. Okay. Negative 4 times the uh, quantity x plus 6 is equal to negative 40. Your answer will come out to 4 or should come out to 4. Okay. So just show the work and show how you got there. Okay, hope this helps.